everyone. Good afternoon to you. Another Costco run. Mm -hmm. Got a lot of nice things. Let's go check it out, right? Okay. okay. So headless, shell on. Going to show you guys how to do the real way to make this shrimp eddy. From Costco shrimp. Okay, you, know, you pick one. Price per pound is $10 a pound. This is U15, so it means 15 pieces per pound. And these are pretty big. One of the biggest ones you'll find. Yes. Take a look again one more time, this shrimp. Let me tell you what, for this size, U15, $10 a pound, to me it's a great deal. But today's video is gonna be focusing on how to make shrimp for sushi, for nigiri, basically, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, Rizan, what's the first step? First step, uh, put the skewer. Okay. Into the uh, skin to make it straight. This one. So this is kind of a three-part video. The first one here is going to show you how to do this shrimp. This process. Let's take a look at that closer. This one you can see more. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, so we're going to do it closer toward the legs. All right, and the reason why Hero does this when you boil it, the shrimp is not going to curve. So this is what it looks like after Hero puts out the skewer. And just to let you all know, you can buy this already done at supermarkets, Asian supermarkets. And this is what it looks like. All right, water's boiling. All right, here's how we ready? Yes. Okay, let's go. Let's go. So we're gonna we're gonna put this one everything in one shot. What they call this one in, in, in English? I don't know. I call it scum. Just water, just scum. I don't mm. know. We call it aku. What is it? How? What does it mean? <laughs> this mean? <laughs> Aku? This is it, aku, yeah. Yeah, whatever you do, the fish shall be for something coming up, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I call it scum. Scum, is it scum? <laughs> scum. S-C-U-M, S -S scum. The scum, is the same as scum? No, scum, I don't know. I don't know if that's really the right word for this. Hmm. Oh, this shrimp, now I see. They already cut in the top. They took the vein out. Oh, that's no good. That's not good? That's not good for the sushi. Uh oh. Oh my goodness, this is not okay, good. Okay, it's okay. Well, we can still have the other recipe that we're talking about. Kind of like a shrimp salad. Yeah, so they took out the veins. I didn't, I didn't see what happened there. Does it say deveined? It just says U15 white shrimp farm raised, that's it. Doesn't mention anything that's deveined. Okay, not the end of the no, loss. But, uh, but we'll I, I want to show you at uh, least uh, the process with these things. Okay. Still. So obviously, after coming out of the boiling water, right away to an ice bath. Yeah, then just the wait until the old way cooling down. Okay. And we'll take off the shell. Wow, I didn't. Oh, now I see. If I touch it, I didn't see. Yeah, sometimes in the US they do the bang out, yeah. which I really don't like it because of, I need to cut from the, this side. So after cooling down, of course, take your skewer out. Then peel off. Yes. And some people do take off this last one too. Okay. And um, so they peel off from the in the top already. Right. So because of uh, I usually do, I have to cut from this way. Right. Then, right, that's take the vein then out. open up. Then I take a vein from this side. You know. Okay, so that's not bad. I mean, these yeah. can still do that so, process. So um, again, uh, this uh, this one take the vein out from this side. So it's not really I was expecting for, because of uh, I usually cut this way and take the vein out. But uh, still not bad. It's not bad. Yeah. So we just want to keep it this way. Because this is already cut in this side. If I cut from here, everything is going to be separate. Some of the okay, some of the is not good. So I usually taking out the vein from this side. Then after open up, after you take the vein out, then once we're going to wash the whole shrimp, I'm going to wash in process. So like, like this. 
Let's take a look. Yeah, usually I wash it, you know. But this is already, like I say, they're taken off from here. Yeah, they're taken from the top. So it's already separated already. This one, same thing. This one's more has a the vein stuff. Uh, vein. Oh, well, it's going to be perfect for the recipe we're going to make anyway, right? Yeah, that recipe is uh, actually, it doesn't matter yeah. which way it cuts it open. So. Whatever you do, this is a, uh, you can do in, in with the running water, so much, much easier. And after that, take off the water, then some people just keep into the, uh, soak into the sweet, sweet vinegar. We call it Amazu for a little bit. Okay. Each restaurant has a different recipe anyway, this process. Okay, so after wash, I just want to take a little bit of water out. Okay. That's a beautiful product. Mm. Huge shrimp again. It's nice. $10 a pound, you can't beat it. Put it here. This, if you wanted to keep it together in this case here, you could yeah. put a piece of seaweed, right? No, no, I don't put the seaweed. But I guess because it's open. Have you, um, do people use seaweed around shrimp? I've seen it before, right? You can do with the design wise, but. Uh, design? Yeah, but it's not really necessary. Some restaurants put two shrimp. Two shrimp, yeah, depend on the. the uh, shrimp, I might be right? sometime, you know, Botang Ebi is kind of big one, but a little tiny, I might be. Yeah. Some place to use the two, two pieces of one. Two pieces in one, mm. okay. But it's all about that stuff. Dep depend on the restaurant, you know? How they want to. This shrimp is very big. If you like a sushi rice, I can put more rice in it. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Let, let, let me try. A uh, little bit more than usual. I can put this rice okay. like this here. You know, a lot of people say, oh, less rice, less rice. But especially my hometown, mm -hmm. we love sushi rice. Well, you guys so, use a special kochi sushi yeah, rice, right? Anyway. It's a, it's a lot of sushi rice on, 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 on the shrimp sushi. Or well, what I mean, any, any type of, any kind of sushi. Okay, very nice. Well, I tell you what, we're gonna take some pictures and we'll be back. Mm. Okay, we have come to the tasting part. Hi, right. here, son. Hi. Enjoy. No. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. How's the shrimp? Ten dollars a pound. U fifteen. I don't think you can beat this deal. It's so good. So good, really. Yeah, when you guys do this at home, try and do it at home. Don't go to those Asian supermarkets. Even the sushi restaurant using the, they already pretty Yeah, pretty made. Done. Mm -hmm. So, of course, you know, factory is a machine, right? Mm-hmm. That shrimp is coming out so thin. Mm. Even whole L, 5L, it's very thin. Mm. This is, you can tell, the meat, right? The shrimp meat, very thick. Mm. Go ahead, put one more. Mm. Mm. Meat is so good. When you said so different. Mm. Quality, the thickness of the meat. Very juicy, you know? Mm. I don't know, it's not bouncy, but it's very juicy. The flesh, the shrimp itself is very, um, the texture is great. It just, you can tell it wasn't like sitting in a freezer for weeks and months. To make this, one key is out. Don't overcook. Okay, know? that's true. And, uh, the shrimp is made frozen or something, so still you need to cook, but don't overcook. Right. Mm. Okay, I hope you like the video. Here's time. We'll see you soon. Mm. Thank you.